everyone welcome to bc academy today we will do maths class 9 chapter coordinator it's a very easy and interesting chapter as coordinator is a shape of four sides it has four sides and four angles so the four sides are ab bc cd and da a coordinator has four sides as these are the four sides of the coordinator it has four angles it has four angles and the diagonals used to bisect each other the diagonals used to bisect each other at a point o the diagonals used to bisect each other at a point o and in this chapter we will do some properties related to coordinator and different types of coordinator and coordinator have different types like rhombus square parallelogram rectangle and many other shapes so these all uh, these are all the examples of coordinator so in the first in this chapter we will uh, do first topic angle sum property angle sum property of coordinator sir okay we know uh, we everyone know that the coordinator have four angles it has four angles and four sides so the sum of the four angles as the sum of the four angles a b c d angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d in the angle sum property we need to prove that angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d is 360 degree in class 8 we are generally know that angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 360 degree but in class 9 we need to prove that we need to prove the angle sum how does this angle sum is 360 degree so mark this uh, as the diagonals are bisected with each other so two angles are formed mark this angle angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 and angle 8 so write everyone proof you can see that by bisecting the diagonals two triangles are formed ab abc and adc triangle abc and triangle abc as we know that angle angle sum property of angle angle sum property of triangle is 180 degree hence sum of all angles of triangle abc is 180 degree and um, and sum of this triangle is 280 degree Uh, we need not to consider only one diagonal should be considered in the angle sum property of triangle so if we bisect all them then there will be four triangles form but we need to prove only two triangles so mark it is 5 and 6 triangle abc and triangle abc so in triangle in triangle abc angle a is na Uh, written as angle one plus angle five plus angle four is equal to one eighty degree. Is the first point. And in triangle ABC, angle two plus angle three plus angle six equals to one eighty degree. This is the second point. As we add, um, adding one and two equation. Angle one plus angle five plus angle four plus angle two plus angle three plus angle six is equal to one eighty degree plus one eighty degree. Why? Why? Why it is one eighty degree? Because we have added both the equation. So angle one and angle two, angle one and angle two makes angle A. Angle three and angle four, angle three and angle four, angle one and angle two, angle three and angle four is B. Angle three and angle uh, angle five is angle B. Uh, sorry, 
some mistake. Angle three and angle four is C. Sorry, angle three is angle C. Angle five is angle B, and angle six is angle D. Hence, angle A plus angle C plus angle B plus angle D is three eighty six degree. Hence, it is proved that angle sum property of triangle, the sum of four angles of a quadrilateral, is three sixty degree. It is the first. Proof which we need to do in the quadrilateral chapter. Now our second topic in this quadrilateral chapter is various types of quadrilateral. As there are various types of quadrilateral like rhombus, trapezium, parallelogram, square, rectangle. It is so we need to know all the properties of all the types of quadrilateral. So trapezium. square rectangle rhombus parallelogram and the last one is the kite we need to know all the three all the six six shapes properties by a uh, line wise line so let's discuss about this so the various types of quadrilaterals uh, are the trapezium parallelogram rhombus rectangle square and kite so first of all we will talk about quadrilateral quadrilateral is a shape of four sides as all the it is a related to quadrilateral then all the shapes have four sides so a b c d so a b c d is a quadrilateral in which there is a pair of parallel so ab is parallel to dc ab is parallel to dc and there is a special type of trapezium that is known as isosceles trapezium isosceles trapezium which has like abcd it's a isosceles trapezium as isosceles trapezium Uh, trapezium is said to be an isosceles trapezium if its non-parallel sides are equal. As AB is parallel to CD, and if AC, if AC is equal to BD, then it is known as isosceles trapezium. The diagonals of trapezium used to bisect each other, used to bisect each other, and as well the sides are not equal the sides are not equal but only in isosceles triangle the non parallel sides are equal and the square is a rectangle with a pair of adjacent square matlab a square is a rectangle a square is rectangle with a pair of equal adjacent side हम लोग स्क्वायर को एक रेक्टेंगल कहते हैं क्योंकि इसके पास रेक्टेंगल के पास अ पेयर ऑफ इक्वल एडजस्टेंट साइड होता है मतलब इसके ऑपोजिट साइड जो होते हैं रेक्टेंगल के ये दे आर इक्वल सो रेक्टेंगल कैन बी ना सॉरी स्क्वायर कैन बी कॉल्ड अ रेक्टेंगल बट अ रेक्टेंगल कैन नॉट बी कॉल्ड अ स्क्वायर अ रेक्टेंगल कैन बी कॉल्ड अ पैरेललोग्राम इफ पैरेललोग्राम ऑल एंगल्स आर 90 डिग्री the all sides of square all sides of square sides and angles of square are equal all sides of squares are equal this is the second point the third point is diagonals bisect each other diagonal bisect each other perpendicularly the the diagonals of a, a square used to, uh, used to bisect each other making an angle of 90 degree whereas when we talk about a rectangle it is a parallelogram it is a parallelogram it can be a parallelogram if its all angles are 90 degree and opposite sides are equal opposite sides are equal all angles are equal to 90 degree. 
all angles are equal to 90 degree in in rectangle oh, and the diagonals of the rectangle shape diagonals of the rectangle shape diagonals of rectangle bisect each other diagonals of square bisect each other as well uh, in the square as well they are equal they are equal to okay they are equal to each other when we talk about rhombus rhombus is a square rhombus can be a square but the square could not be a rhombus rhombus all angles are different all angles are different but all sides all sides of rhombus are equal are equal and the diagonals diagonals bisect each other bisect each other at 90 degree or perpendicularly okay this is the point related to rhombus and parallelogram a quadrilateral is a parallelogram it if it's both pair of both pairs of opposite side opposite sides are parallel are parallel as well as equal and equal the diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other bisect each other a parallelogram can be a rectangle only if their angles are making an angle of 90 degree let's talk about a kite kite is a shape a b c d where the adjacent sides adjacent sides adjacent sides are equal a b equals to a d b c equals to c d but a b could not be equal to b c a b could not be equal to b c a square rectangle and uh, this was about a kite and the next uh, there are will be some uh, for uh, from the above all these uh, things there are some important things related to these definitions the definition told by me earlier there are some important things which i want to talk with you that square rectangle and rhombus and rhombus can be a parallelogram can be a parallelogram this is the first important thing a parallelogram a parallelogram is trapezium a parallelogram is trapezium but trapezium but trapezium is not a parallelogram it's an important thing that trapezium uh, trapezium cannot be a parallelogram but a parallelogram can be trapezium if it's both side both it has a pair of parallel side parallel sides a rectangle or a rhombus a rectangle and rhombus are not necessarily to be a square ek rectangle or rhombus ko zaruri nahi hai ki wo ek square hi rahe ek square hi rahe theek hai agar rectangle ke sare side equal ho jaye aur rhombus ke sare angles 90 ho degree ho jaye so, we can say that it is a square. Hai. A kite is not a parallelogram. It is a most important thing that a kite is not a parallelogram. A kite could not be a parallelogram. But a parallelogram can be kite if its adjacent sides are equal and parallel to each other. There are properties in, in the next video we will talk about the properties of parallelograms, the diagonals of parallelograms, 
divides a quadrilateral into two equongruent triangles a parallelogram opposite sides are equal parallelograms opposite triangles are you know there are many types of theorems that triangles of parallelogram bisect each other and diagonals divide it into uh, bisect uh, the di divide it into two congruent triangles and many uh, there are five, uh, uh, total six theorems related to parallelogram and then we will do some illustrative examples uh, for uh, for you to uh, so that the chapter is easily done then we will talk about sufficient conditions for a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram ki kin conditions ke karan a quadrilateral a parallelogram ho sakta hai in the next video we will full talk about the sufficient condition and the properties related to rectangle rhombus and square uh, in a here in a large way and some useful facts about a triangle and the midpoint theorem will be the other topics related to quadrilateral thank you please like and subscribe my channel bc academy in the next video we will see you once again that for that time bye bye